everyone and welcome, welcome back. Oh my gosh, look at them, look at them go at it. I think they're having a territorial battle. Look how huge they are. But welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2, our dino park. And we are here looking at our super massive triceratops. I think that they're still having some words with each other. Oh, and the ammonites are sick again. Okay, but I've had advice on how we can heal the ammonites. They need a smaller tank with pretty much nothing else in it. So they can reach clam bubblers and they can be able to take care of themselves. And we will be working on that pretty soon. Oh my gosh, is this really a snoring triceratops? Why is this the cutest thing in the world? This is so cute, they're adorable. And we have this big giant pile of babies. Some eggs, Triceratops eggs right over here. I was actually thinking about potentially adding in some other creatures uh, into the Triceratops exhibit because it is a pretty darn big exhibit, but we have a lot of eggs. There's a lot of eggs all over the place. I forgot how many eggs there were. Oh boy, and somebody's pregnant now. Alrighty. Well, these guys are like gonna have some little sea babies pretty soon and these guys are being entertained and educated. Oh my gosh, look how much gear they're wearing. Everybody, oh, she's wearing the really cool Stegosaurus backpack. Look at this. Look at this. Where'd it go? There it is. There it is. Oh my gosh, look at her. She is really decked out in our dino swag. That is so cool. You go, ma'am. You go. You keep spending that money. You keep spending that money and you keep walking over to this ATM. I hope we'll get plenty more from her. Oh gosh. Speaking of which, how are our woolly rhinos? The woolly rhinos are doing good. Somebody's building a nest. I think somebody has been beached on land. How did you manage that? Stay over here, you silly nilly. There we go. All right, so I think pretty much everybody is happy except for our ammonites and uh, whoever has just been put into, why have you just been put into a crate? How did you get over here? How did you even get over here? I don't even understand. Here, go over here and stop being silly. I have no idea how they got all the way out there. That was kind of amazing. All right, so our zookeepers are running around. Ammonite 12 needs a little attention. So it looks like today we might have to give a little bit of attention to our ammonites, you guys, which is not the most thrilling, exciting thing in the world, but they are having a hard time being happy ammonites. And I'm thinking if we actually, why are you beached on land again? This is, this is a question for the ages. You're not beached on land, you're fine. All right, and I think if we come over here and we turn this into a proper tank, that would be a pretty good idea because we can put our ammonites inside of here and then people can still view them. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of them because you know how long we've been scrubbing our ammonites with toothbrushes, it seems. All right, so there's that. And let's just make a proper tank out of this anyway. All right, so let's see, tank, tank, tank. Which tank walls should we use to look really cool? Uh, these tank walls, new. These tank walls, yeah, the little rock tank walls, they look really cool. All right, we need free form. And we'll just make like a little tank right here. There we go. All right. We'll probably pull the ground up quite a bit too because I think the ammonites need to be able to reach the clam bubblers and that's how they tend to their hygiene need, I was told. So we'll pull the ground all the way up and then we're just gonna grab the ammonites. Oh, look how miserable they are. Apparently they just need to be able to like be right next to each other to be content and happy. I think they need coral reef biome stuff too. Yeah, they need the reef biome, so let's change it into reef water for them. But every animal, large and small, in the case of our dino zoo, they get really, really large, needs to have a good exhibit. So I don't mind spending a little bit of time sprucing this up for them. Whoops, okay. Well, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> darn it. <laughs> oh, darn. All right, well, let's fix this. Maybe I'll just leave that stuff in there then. All right, raise this up. Come on, and there we go. All right, let's try this again. I was just gingerly trying to remove some of the plants, which I know you guys would never expect me to try to remove plants, but it happens on occasion. And then we're gonna set up this little reef tank for the ammonites. So hopefully they'll be able to really enjoy it. Uh, plate coral, there's some feather stars. We put in a giant clam, which I think they should enjoy. Giant table coral, a little bit too big. Um, I'm trying to think more of, more of like, if not trees. Let's see, and then there's rocks. Maybe just a couple small rocks, just kind of sticking up here and there. And let's see, medium rock is too big, that's fine. Uh, maybe some of the giant kelp. Giant kelp is too big, that's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness, we'll have to see. Is there anything I can add here? There, we'll make it go down just a little bit more. But yeah, every creature, large or small, 
we try to take good care of, even though these are not the most exciting things. And I intend to actually see if we can add in perhaps an Ankylosaurus or two before the day is over. So that is one of my hopes to find. Apparently, hmm, let's do nothing on the reef. I guess it would be all like corals. Well, I guess that's what we'll do. We'll just do like all corals over here. Maybe a feather star or two. Some of the giant barrel sponges. I wanna try to make this look really nice for our ammonites though, so that they can enjoy what they've got over here. But we'll keep it pretty simple because maybe the ammonites just need to be able to scooch around and say hello to one another without having too many things in the way. A nice little table coral over there. Um, my little dwarf stuff. I just love, I love greenery. It's it's a little bit of an addiction, but you guys are, you guys know that by now. Let's do some blue green coral over here. Maybe, let's see, any other types? Oh, there's a pretty little table coral. I'll put this little table coral right there. All right, and now we want the ammonites. So where are they hiding? This is a little baby whale shark. There's an ammonite. Come here, ammonite six. You're gonna go in here and we're gonna give it what it needs for food and water because apparently it's kind of hard for these guys to be able to reach their food and water. So we will put the net buoy, we'll put the net buoys in so that they can come over and try to find some of their shellfish like so in a few different spots. Hopefully, if they, if they, can, if they just move so slowly they have issues with this, I'm hoping that'll help. And then, yeah, we'll just do some floating buoys for that. And then apparently we need the clam bubbler. And the clam bubbler is, oh, this is so pretty. A reef cave. When did this come up? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put it in. Maybe they'll do something with it. That's really pretty. We'll leave that kind of sticking out of the ground just because we can. And I need, I need a clam bubbler because even though they don't ask for it, apparently the clam bubbler is what actually really helps them out. Oh, the clam formation. Not enough room in there, that's just fine. But the clam bubbler is what helps them out with their hygiene need, which would explain why they're miserable because I actually don't have any clam bubblers in this entire thing. All right, Ammonites. <laughs> this is, uh, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't giggle. It's just like, really, we're in the dino zoo and we're spending so much time on the Ammonites, but this is just what you have to do to make sure you take good care of all your animals. All right, let's look at everything. And here's a bunch of dodo rocks. My dodos are complaining as usual. I, we might have to, ooh, look at that. There's a dragonfly. That would be really cool to put in. All right, clam bubbler, clam bubbler. There we are, clam bubbler right here. So we'll put clam bubblers down in different sections of our little spot. And then we need to make sure we install, come on, there we go, clam bubbler. And then we need to make sure we install one of the water filters right there. And let's see, I need a entrance so that they can get in, the little tank entrance, so that they can take care of my little ammonites. There we go. And let's get away from all the evil splashy water because it's gonna just go all over the place for just a second. Oh, let's see what this is. Maybe it's the last piece of the T-Rex fossil that we need. Because I am, as soon as we complete that fossil, <gasps> we're halfway there, you guys, halfway to the T-Rex fossil. As soon as we complete it, we will definitely be taking care of uh, getting a T-Rex because that would be very exciting. All right, so let's complete this. All right, come here, Ammonite 2. You're gonna come over here. And Ammonite 1, you're gonna come over here. So their social and their hygiene are absolutely rock bottom. And that may be because they're in such a big tank. <laughs> if you're a little teeny Ammonite, maybe that tank is just far too large for you to even be able to dream about finding where the others are. So I think that's all my Ammonites. I have like an odd number of them. There's four and then 12, six, all right, so let's go ahead, try to gently land. Yay, I'm in the ammonite pool. And then I need to go and groom my little ammonites. Groom, groom. Hi guys. Oh my gosh, they've got the coolest mouths. <gasps> Whoa, I didn't realize that we had a baby one. Did you guys realize we had a baby one? I did not. So one is super duper tiny compared to the other. That is very cool. Oh my gosh, look at them. Are they actually like able to reach their food? Come on, up we go. Up we go. Apparently I'm stuck on this rock. Really? If I'm stuck on the rock, woo gosh, then they might get stuck on the rock pretty easily too. Oh my goodness. I've never seen a happy ammonite. This feels like an absolute victory right now. So he feels rested. Oh my gosh, you guys. Even though I've never seen that little reef cave before, do I really have progressively happy am- <gasps> Look at them! 
Oh my gosh. I think I'm finally having some happy Ammonites. And they're pregnant too. I didn't even realize they were so heavily pregnant. All right. I think we'll make the tank a tiny bit deeper. Because hopefully that'll help them. And then let's dive over again. All right. And we can replenish. We can swim. I need to bathe. Ammonite number seven, please. Would Ammonite number seven please come? Why? Why rock? I hate that rock. Why? All right. Heal. And well, hate is a very strong word. I shouldn't have said that. All right. It's just annoying. And that's my own fault for deciding I had to have a pretty, pretty rock in there. All right. How are my Ammonites now? Doing good, except for Ammonite 6, who I need to actually take care of. Ammonite 1 does not like being in such dirty water. For crying out loud, you guys. All right, we'll do frequent scheduling. Do you guys really make the water that filthy that fast? All right, there. Healed 6, so that makes me happy. I don't want to swim. No, 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 no. I need to heal 6. Ammonite 4. I don't want to swim with 2. I want to heal 6. There we go. Phew. All right, I think we'll be able to leave them be and hopefully they'll figure things out from here And hopefully people will come down and they'll look at the little ammonites because I think they are worth looking at too But all right now that that's done. Let's look at some of the more dramatic Let's see Pegomastix is complaining about a dirty exhibit. Let's check on them because they've been a staple to our zoo for quite a long time now Hello little guys. Hi Oh my goodness look at them They're so freaking cute you guys are so cute. They remind me of my little orchids. And by orchids, I mean these little these little guys over here. So I want to check how these little guys are doing. <gasps> oh, I hear you guys. <gasps> Look at you. Oh, he's still just the tiniest thing in the world. Look at him. Ah, that's so cute. Look at him scratch. Oh, I got to get the other side. That side's a T2, huh? Oh, I love these guys. I love learning more information about these guys when you tell me down in the comments because they're just so cool. Hi, buddy. All right, so apparently these are still very young ones. They haven't grown to their uh, adult sizes yet. Nobody's hiding in here. But yeah, no adult sizes yet on these guys. So I'll keep an eye out. I really, really like them. I think we finally got one male in this group. And speaking of males, I think I need to start replenishing the quagga stock and also these guys over here. So we'll look into that. How's our stegosaurus? You guys had so many amazing names for the stegosaurus. So many of you guys really wanted to call our stegosaurus um, like princess, I think. Oh boy. We'll go check on who that is in just a second. Oh boy, somebody's, somebody's having a little bit. Oh, look at that guy. Somebody is yelling about it, all right. What's up, buddy? Listen to you. Whoops. Listen to you be so tough. Ah, there we go. Da, 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 da. I want to get a good look at him. Wow, and there's daddy in the background. Kind of complaining about things. All right, so they're doing okay. Our Smilodons are growing up. I think we need a new dinosaur, you guys. I'm itching for a new dino. After we took good care of our Ammonites... And we observed how our dodos are being absolute dodos, as usual. <laughs> There's so many of them. There's so many of them, and I can't even send them out to the wild because they're all so miserable. Watch them all get super excited as we start putting down the dodo rocks. Every now and then, you just have to throw down 100 bazillion dodo rocks. And leave them be. There we go. That amuses me way too much. <laughs> Watching them emerge from over there and just like a rush over to eat the dodo rocks. All right. Well, that's taken care of. Let's just dive in. Let's come over. Let's make something new. This Kuliosuchus. Oh, I forgot we were going to be working on that. Oh, my goodness. Titano. Let's work on this guy, maybe. Titano Tylo Plus. Plus. I'm not sure what that's going to be. So let's just dive in. Is this guy going to be complicated? What say you, Professor Eyebrows? I know nothing about this guy. In a way, that almost makes it more exciting because we're just like jumping into taking care of our dinos. Getting our feet a little wet. Oops. Oops! <laughs> it's a camel! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a prairie camel. Um, I didn't see that coming. I wonder if you'd get along well with the, the Triceratops. What does it look like if I leave you in here with the Triceratops? You eat kind of the same stuff. 
I feel tempted to leave it in with the Triceratops, you guys. Not even joking. Totally from different eras. But now we know what being completely surprised by getting one of these guys is. So he's just going to be a very confused uh, Triceratops herd edition. And hopefully they won't mess with him too much. So this is one of those experiments in a zoo where you're not sure if this is going to end in tragedy. But we're just going to leave it be. Where is he off to now? Hopefully he won't get pricked by those big giant old... Yeah, he's just going off to look a salt lick. Alright, you do your little one. We have a little female here, so we're just going to leave her in there and see how that turns out. Alright, so that wasn't quite the, the kind of dino that I was thinking about. But I learned something new. Um, I think this guy is like... I don't know what this guy is actually. This one has a pretty cool name. Let's try this one in just a moment. And some of you guys are probably like, oh my goodness, Siri! That, that's a such and such. Oh my goodness, did this guy really... How big are you grown up? <gasps> this one grew up! This one grew up! Oh gosh! Oh gosh, you're so pretty! You guys, these are like my all-time favorites! Look at her! She has finally grown up! She's truly my little orchid! Oh gosh! Oh gosh, she's so lovely. These are like my new favorites. They're definitely my new favorites. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to go over. Let's try making this one. I have no idea what it is, but we have a few empty spots for exhibits. So this is more like dino grab bag fun. All right. Oh, fudge. Okay. Right down, click left up. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> I know it sounds terrible, but I get so distracted. Okay, right click left click right. Oh, uh, no, there's no click. Right down, right down. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. All right, up, down, click, left, right. Okay, and Triceratops 7 has escaped from its exhibit, so we're gonna have to take care of that. Oh gosh. All right, well, this is happening. Up, down, click, left, right. Oh my gosh. All right, all right. And Keeper Flood can't reach the medium poop. And we have a warthog! <laughs> this is not what I expected either. I was going for something much more and now it's just a tropical savanna warthog i think we're gonna go ahead and adopt him out for now i think oh my goodness here little one you can come out and we're just gonna like casually adopt you out oh my goodness and how did you guys get out look at all of them how'd they all get out you guys do we have too many triceratops i feel like we have too many triceratops all right i think that's good oh gosh i feel like it's just chaos left and right Oh, just chaos. Oh, darn. You know, I really am thinking... Am I just going to have to... Uh, let's keep going. All right. Well, we'll try one more time with our dinosaur grab bag that so far hasn't resulted in any dinosaurs. The Min-Me. Mini-Me. Min-Me. I like the Min-Me. I know I like the Min-Me. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a Min-Me, maybe. How did you escape from your exhibit, little one? I need to investigate this because you shouldn't be able to escape from your exhibit. Let's sit here. And we're going to watch and we're going to see how on earth they are daring to escape from their exhibit. Because they shouldn't be able to. We'll plant some ferns while we wait. Just to kind of fill in fill in the bits of greenery over here. Ooh, that looks really nice actually. Alright. There we go. Yeah. Okay, I'm watching, watching. They're growling and humming, and we have a bazillion babies. I'm watching you. He's trying the gate. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. That's how he did it. Okay, I think they broke the gate. So we'll have to go down and put this here again, and then put a new gate in. So they were sneaking out of the gate, you guys. Oh my gosh. All right, and we, we are going to start moving into doing... <laughs> I think it's kind of funny to have this guy just kind of casually in there. We are going to start moving into having some more of the classic dinosaurs added in. Guests need more places to rest. Um, but I do like trying to do them from the fossils that we've collected first. So let's actually put some fossils together. Any, any other fossils? The Ankylosaurus. Let's put maybe an Ankylosaurus together because I do like them. The Strokosaurus actually sounds pretty amazing. So let's try putting that one together really quickly. I spy some big old teeth. I know some people who are going to enjoy something with some big old teeth. And this one actually is coming together pretty easily. So maybe this will be our next big chomper. 
And I know that a lot of you guys are eager for some big chompers. So we will try to see if this is gonna turn into our big one. All right, let's put this up here. Let's see, what am I looking at here? I think this is an arm actually. So the head is gonna be tossed back. There we go. And there we are. All right, there we go. And somebody is really super duper hungry. Why are you over here? How, how did you get over there? I don't understand how these guys keep escaping either. I don't understand why this man is stuck. Okay, he's, he's doing better now. Oh, Woolly Rhinoceros 2 has finally passed away of old age. Oh, is this another T-Rex piece? Yes, that's another T-Rex piece. We will be looking for more T-Rex pieces as time goes on too. Oh, and we just got our 1,000th guest in attendance. All right, that's so cool. All right, so we're gonna continue with our um, our extinct research lab dinosaur grab bag day. And let's see what we get now. All right, hopefully this guy will be what we're looking for, a nice big chomper. All right, there we go. And then right down, left. Whoops, a do. Up, oh, there we go. Professor Eyebrows. Oh, he's so tiny and cute. Oh, look at you. The Stokosaurus, huh? All right. Oh, it's a little girl. Okay. Let's figure out what we need to give her. A fern forest. Oh, one after my own heart. That is fantastic. So, a fern forest. And we're going to give it an artificial carcass to feed on. Or maybe a flesh device feeder. I think the artificial carcass would actually look a little bit cooler. Um, and then maybe a dinosaur prey dummy. That takes up a huge chunk though. A rock shelter might be a good thing. So let's go ahead and take this out of the way. And then put down, oh, well, not that much of it out of the way. No. And dang it, Triceratops ate. How? Stop breaking through, naughty naughty. Stop breaking through your exhibit. Oh, there goes the geyser. I love those geysers. They're so cool. They're a great decorative item. All right, so let's come back over here to this little one. And let's set her up really quickly. And Pegomasticus has just died of old age. That will happen on occasion. I'm gonna put this one over here. We're gonna need some fern things. We're gonna need the feeder. There's a little bit of water that I hope will serve. So let's see, fern forest, fern forest. And then we might just need to go nuts with the fern forest. All right, what's this gonna look like? Oh, it's so pretty, yes. Finally, something that requires some of my, my plant-loving touch. I'm so happy. All right, we'll come through here. I think this one will actually turn out pretty nice. Let's make a little bit of shallow water. I actually have some ideas for how to do this too. So we'll make like a pool right along the edge here, I think. And then I'm going to come in, cut this away. And then let's see, where is a Misty? Is there a misty spring in here anywhere? I want to put a misty spring in. Triceratops number six needs a bath. That's why it's complaining about life. Take a bath and go go lick your, your little salt lick. All right. And hang on a second. Hang on a second. Everybody is so excited. Somebody's performing. There's never anyone watching when like there's a performance going on. Oh, man. All right. So let's go ahead and get a enrichment item. And we really want the scrub rock, grassland, coastal, alpine, wetlands. We really want the misty spring. We don't have mystery springs yet. Oh my gosh. That's so weird to me. Well, can we get the food for her yet? Yeah, we can get the food for her at least. So let's go ahead. I'm going to kind of build it like this. So it looks like maybe there was, um, you know, maybe there was like a creature that she took down. So I kind of like doing it that way too, because it's kind of fun. All right, and we'll go ahead and let her out. Oh, she's so tiny. She is so teensy tiny. I thought they would be much, much bigger. And we need, why are you here? How did you get there? How did you get there? Oh my gosh, so many like aquatic animals. Aquatic animals are extremely, extremely tricky sometimes. Okay, hold still. Why are you sick? How are you guys sick? Do you guys also need clam bubblers? Do I just need to install clam bubblers everywhere? Hold still for two seconds. I'm trying to heal you. All right, and what about you? Oh, missed it. All right, zoom, 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 zoom. That's number one. Where's number two? Where's number two? There it is. Swim faster. Oh, it's kind of nerve. That's kind of it makes me nervous to chase something in the water like this. Look how fast he is. Hold still for two seconds. Oh, I'm stuck on the rock. 
All right, where is he going? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, we got him. We got him. There we go. Phew. All right, guys. Well, clearly things are still being a little bit chaotic, even though the well sharks are very pretty and calm. Uh, over here, we've got some new pieces I'm pretty sure belong to T-Rex. And next time, we're going to come over here and we are going to try to find where our absolutely adorable little Stogosaurus... There she is! We're going to come over here and we're going to give her a proper fern forest. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!